It's 1 o'clock here on 90.3 KEXP here in Seattle. I'm Stevie Zoom. Thanks for tuning in on this Sunday afternoon. Just finished up that set with music from Tame Impala. Right now, we are ready for some live music in our studios. We want to welcome back Sandra Lerke. Thank you, sir, for being here this afternoon. It is my pleasure. Playing tonight at the Nectar Lounge and the brand new album, Please. That's right. Album number seven. I've lost count, but yeah, that's what they tell me. Studio albums. Yeah. Yeah. Other things that have been in between there and all that. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about the new record and such in a little bit. If you're ready for a couple songs, that'd be wonderful. Let's roll. Three, My baby surrendered to fate And I couldn't even say how I felt later on that evening Stating my name to the officers It was in vain Cause I knew they were out to get me Place four or five fingers five On a sticky plastic bag Scan my blue bloodshot eyes For the history of my trials When crimes are passionate Can love be separate when crimes are passionate? Can love be separate? And found a way to redact and retell my story No evidence and no witness to sum it up the mess I confess it all sounds unlikely Ah, oh, sweaty paranoid porn Pressed against a leather wall The law in all its flaws Me in an oversized overall Can love be separate when friends are passionate? Can love be separate? Maybe it's a bad, bad law. It's a bad, bad law. This is Sandra Lerke with Chris Holm and Dave Howell, and we're going to play a song called Crickets. Told off so terribly loud Off my hand as I reach for the fire Sound sleeps so terribly foul. For saw the end of an era. Hey! 
We're singing a song for the crickets. We're singing a song for the crickets. You look suspicious. I've no suspicion. Hey! Can't deal with the dark cards. Can't tame the night hearts. Can't overcome my fault. Out late with all the undead. Kicking myself as we blow through the gate. Murmuring, brook in my head. Sweet little nothings but better. Oh, hey. We're singing a song for the crickets. We're singing a song for the crickets. You look suspicious. I've no suspicion. Hey. Can't deal the dark parts. Can't tame the mad heart. Can't overcome my fault. In a different voice, say it to yourself in a different voice. Say it to yourself in a different voice. In yours, say it to yourself in a different voice. Say it to yourself in a different voice. Say it to yourself in a different voice. In yours, say it to yourself in a different voice. Say it to yourself in a different voice. Say it to yourself in a different voice. Voice and joys. Say it to yourself in a different voice. Say it to yourself in a different voice. Say it to yourself in a different voice. And joys. It's the truth. You don't agree. It's it to get to you, to you, to you, to you. It's the truth. You say don't agree. It's to get to you, to you, to you, to you, to you. Point three KEXP here in Seattle. Live music from Sandra Lerke. That is uh, music from the new album, Please. The uh, first two songs on the album, Bad Law and Crickets. Once again, thanks for being here. Playing tonight at the Nectar Lounge. Could you once again introduce to our listeners the bandmates here with you today? Oh, absolutely. Um, well, we have on drums, we have Dave Heilman. And we have on bass, Chris Holm. And they both uh, also appear on the record quite a bit so they've they've been a part of please yeah excellent and uh, thanks to dave for bringing in the spice girls with him there this afternoon anytime yes that's what i'm here for all right uh and opening a uh, plane tonight at uh nectar lounge and opening is teen i teen. first wanted to start with them because i heard that uh they had the misfortune earlier this week of having their gear stolen yes uh, after our gig in san francisco on wednesday um somebody at Broke it, broke into their van and and took uh, most of their gear, um, so so they're a little heartbroken. But they are also uh, still still playing, and and we're letting them use some of our gear, and uh, and the show uh, must go on and will. Yeah. Tonight. Okay, I yeah. wanted to find out about that because I heard yeah, about yeah, yeah. that, and I wasn't sure if they were still a part of the tour. They're still part of the tour, very much so. And we did a, a wonderful wonderful night yesterday in Portland, and they also have a, a like a pledge music campaign. Uh, that just started today to, to collect some money to you know hopefully get some new gear so they can continue also when when this tour is over and we we are not together so yeah. all right yeah I wanted to get the word out about yeah that. absolutely any any support is greatly appreciated they're a wonderful wonderful group so we're having a good time and we don't want the fun to end good all right the new album please yes so the songwriting on this one this came about during a more of an emotional time period for you. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, musicians are always emotional, but yeah, I was making this record, um, and I thought I knew what it what it was about. I th I had uh, mo most of the songs, and I thought where I knew where it was going, and and then you know you know drama happens at home, and and all of a sudden that needs to come out, or it just 
you know, it doesn't ask politely, it happens, you know? Yeah. So I, I went through a divorce and, and it's, it's sort of inevitably that uh, shapes the record. Um, for better or worse, you know, it's a, it, it was always going to be a, a bold uh, record. I wanted to explore other ways of working and other ways of arriving at song um, than I had in the past. So I knew that was, was happening, but I didn't know what sort of uh, energy and purpose and which sort of emotions it would be filled with. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, the studio became sort of the sanctuary um, uh, where I could be with my friends and, and, and enjoy music and also ventilate all the irrational and rational thoughts that I had going through, you know, this very turbulent thing that, that uh, I'm certainly not the only one who's experienced. But, but uh, the record surprises me also. It's, it's, it's not your average sort of whiny divorce record from a singer-songwriter. It's, it's, it's got happy times. It salutes the good that was and hopefully the good that can be also so it's a it's a record of celebration and also uh eventually it adventures into darker territory which is also part of life as i've come to find it in yeah well the first song yeah. you did bad law that starts off the album that's an up yeah. that's an up tempo upbeat song. oh yeah yeah you can yeah. dance to half the record and then yeah. you can cry your eyes out to the rest <laughs> of it yeah <laughs> so the uh did you find your focus of songwriting this time, uh, did it sharpen a little, uh, in a way, or did it change in a little bit? I, I was, I, I guess, I was seeing a pattern where, you know, I, I usually sit and write songs on my guitar, and I certainly still do that, and I write these really tight, sort of classic compositions. Um, but I found that sometimes uh, this really tight, really strict, um, thorough songwriting was blocking for what could, you know, for what could happen in the studio. And and I just saw other, you know, m music that I really enjoyed, and I, I I realized that it, they were arriving at uh, just it was just different ways of uh, arriving at a song, and 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 I guess my comfort zone was just writing these sort of, uh, yeah, hundred percent airtight songs, you know, and then go into the studio and and do that, and I'm that's something that I'd become pretty good at. So it was time to shake it up and see if there were other ways. Of, of arriving at a song and a song like the the one we the two we just played actually crickets and 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 bad law it, you know they're both the first time I, I I limit myself to four chords in a song so I was just putting limitations on 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 myself to see if I could still create something that I felt motivated to share and it took some time and and it definitely was a, a process where I needed the input of the musicians that I work with and the the different producers that I worked with on the record, but I I just wanted to focus on each song at a time, one at a time, and and then uh, not really think of it as an album until uh, the 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 urge was there to share it, and and that took some time, but yeah. So when you got into the studio and started recording, um, that process seems to have then uh, brought out the songs even more. Oh, absolutely, and we you know we recorded in five different studios. We were in in Bergen, in Norway, where I'm from originally, and in Brooklyn, where I now live. So it was sort of a, a meeting of the, the, the two places I come from, and I, I, uh, or I, uh, also the two places I work, and, and also a, a, a way to just explore different collaborations without putting too much pressure on it, you know? Um, it's different when you do a whole record, you commit to a whole record with one producer or one, one set of musicians. It has to work. But if you just do a song here and there, you could really get a kick out of something and be surprised. And it can also fail and it won't be the end of the world. So we recorded probably 20 songs for this record and, and narrowed it down. And, and then when the theme of the record was, was so apparent to me, it was apparent to me what was the most urgent uh, material in terms uh, of the thematic sort of narration of the, the, the album. Then it was easy, it just had to cut it down to to the bare necessities and that was the 10 songs that you hear on on please and so it's it's a it's an album that's it's intense to play every night but it's also uh, it's also uh, a lot of fun because you know usually you know you have a new record and it just came out and it's w it's difficult for the fans to get into it when you're playing a show and and you want to honor of course the history you have with the fans but this time we're, we're getting requests for th for the new songs and people are singing along to the new songs, and it, it sort of it feels like um, like like the people are taking it to heart. So, so, so that's of course something that, uh, as a as a songwriter, you appreciate when 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 it's when you you don't feel like you're forcing people to listen to your new record. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's nice when uh, they acknowledge new songs exactly. and also uh, appreciate the familiarity of the uh, older exactly. songs. Exactly, and it's also to the credit of 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 my my very very dedicated audience here that they they you know they're they're into hearing new stuff. So I appreciate that a lot. You mentioned Bergen, where you're from. You mentioned mm -hmm. Brooklyn. I was going to ask about that. I know you've yeah. been living in Brooklyn for a number of years, and yeah. that seems to continue, right? Yes. Yeah. Have you toured yet in Europe with this new album at I home? I have not, no. I've just been on a quick little promo trip uh, to, uh, to, to promote the record. But uh, we are uh, going to do another week or so in the States, and then we're going to go to Europe and play there for three weeks, and then I'm going to go to Asia for two or three weeks do it there yeah I saw one of the cities on this uh, US tour you played in Las Vegas oh yes have you correct. ever done that before no <laughs> that was uh, oh there's laughter in the room there is laughter okay. in the room there was laughter in the, the room during the show also I believe yeah. no that was a uh, it was an interesting show yeah Las Vegas uh, is uh, a wild wild place you know it's very compelling and beguiling and uh, also very scary uh, you know it does something to a man and uh, certainly, uh, it was uh, an interesting experience that we uh, we take with us to the grave. Yes, uh, I've been there a few times uh, in recent years, a few years ago now. And when I've been there, I've looked for bands or artists that I enjoy personally, or maybe play here on yeah. the air. And it's hard. It's uh, very hard. hard to find, you find yeah. somebody like that. Well, we were up against. I've Brittany. never, I've never, uh, I've never uh, succeeded that way when I've been there. No, I, you know, I was just uh, happy to see that they had venues for the kind of, you know, the kind of scene or kind of music that, uh, that I do. But you know, you're up against Broad Stewart and Britney and Celine Dion. You know, it's tough. And then also there's strippers. You know, you're competing against all that, and you know, it's uh, it's a tough market to to conquer. Yeah. Yeah. When you've seen Penn and Teller, I'm looking for something else when I've been there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you, we, uh, we were there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You made it through. <laughs> Sounds like you got a few stories when you go home. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Please is the brand new album by Sandra Lerke. And if you're ready for a couple more songs. Absolutely. All right. We're going to play a song called Legends, I think, uh, from Please. Uh, it's a delight to be here in the studio. I was here 10 years ago in the studio. Yeah. Disregard my naked faith. I just realized it takes too, too late. Can we dish it out in daylight? Can we stare ourselves down? Can we maneuver on a sea when it comes swinging back around? Sometimes wrestle with my nerve Can you imagine anybody else so close to you at home?
I'll do another one called Sentimentalist. Live music here at KEXP. You've been listening to Sondra Lerke playing music from the brand new album, Please. Thank you guys so much for being here this afternoon. They're going to be playing tonight at the Nectar Lounge. Teen will be opening up. Thanks, Dave and Chris. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. So, great to see you again. Yeah, man. Please is the brand new album at the Nectar Lounge tonight. And a thank you to our engineer, Jackson. It's 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.